Welcome to our deep dive into the world of data manipulation with Pandas. Today, we're tackling a question that many data enthusiasts encounter. Why does the syntax for referring to columns in a Pandas data frame seem inconsistent when chaining methods? Let's break it down. Our viewer is curious about the varying ways to reference columns in a Pandas data frame, especially when using methods like lock, where, and assign. Why do some methods require explicit data frame references while others do not? And how does this compare to the more uniform syntax found in R's deep liar package? Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully find that resolution you're looking for. Now, let's continue on to the video. Let's explore the seemingly inconsistent column reference syntax when chaining methods on Pandas data frames. In this example, we will analyze a method chain applied to the Iris dataset. In our method chain, we see three different ways to refer to columns. First, methods like lock, group by an ag, accept column names as strings. Next, the where method requires the data frame to be explicitly referenced. This means we must use the data frame name to access its columns. In the assign method, using the data frame name would operate on the original data frame. Instead, we use a lambda function to refer to the modified copy. Finally, the query method allows for string-based queries, but is intended for special use cases, such as when working with multiple data frames. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The main difference between Pandas and Dplyr is that Pandas adheres to Python's strict syntax rules. In Pandas, methods like lock, group by, and ag can interpret strings as column names directly. For example, when using lock, you can directly reference columns by their names. However, the where method requires explicit data frame references because it needs to operate on an object. In the assign method, you need to use a lambda function to refer to the modified data frame. This is because the previous operations change the data frame state. Additionally, the query method allows you to pass a string expression for filtering, but it's meant for special cases and is optimized for larger datasets. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The DATAR package allows you to use DPLIR syntax in Python without confusion in column references. You can easily select, filter, mutate, group, and summarize data. Here's a quick example. You can select sepal length, petal width, and species from the iris dataset, filter by sepal length greater than 4.6, and create a new column for double the petal width.
Remember, I am the author of the Datar package, which makes this syntax possible. And that's it, guys. I hope we've gone through and found the answer that you're looking for. And look, if we did find that answer in your resolution, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time you need technical videos, I hope you have a good one.